There has never been a U.S. president from South Dakota, although four of the most famous have their own little section of it now called Mount Rushmore. The man who could be the first from that state is the subject of tonight's 12 in 2012 segment. Senator John Thune is a hunter who may soon be pursuing a whole different kind of animal. How you guys doing? Where are you from? To see Senator John Thune work a room. Well, knock on wood, we're, we're hopeful. Is impressive. Okay, you guys have a great time. Really nice to meet you. You too. Thanks. See you, buddy. But if the room. Well, thank you. You're kind. Is a South Dakota diner on opening day of hunting season. Dan, great to meet it's you. my wife, Carol. Sir. It's a whole different thing. You know, there's never a bad day to be pheasant hunting, right? Before the hunt. That's the and in between cups of coffee. The owner talks health insurance. You know, we want to offer insurance to our employees, but boy, it's a tough deal. Thune says Republicans like him on the front lines in the Senate have been battling the Obama agenda from the start to try to prevent stories Where, like this. You know, these decisions that get made in Washington, everybody thinks that they're being made in a vacuum. Yeah. And these are, you know, hardworking people who are trying to make ends meet, and that's reality for a lot of Americans. For Thune, getting out of Washington... Is he a good shot? Yeah, he's a pretty good shot. ...means open prairies. It's a semi-automatic 12-gauge shotgun. His escape? And, um, hunting with his buddies. A pheasant hunting with some of your friends is about as good as it gets. So push it to where the blockers are up there. Okay. All right. So let's, spread out about 10. Let's do this. That one's down. Yeah. Everywhere. Got that one. Three-year-old. Three or four-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> that thing's got spurs on it. That... Senator, that thing had seniority. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, That's a survivor. Yeah. You said, you when you're with your buddies, do you talk politics? Oh, yeah, a little bit. It helps put things in their proper perspective. All right. This is John Thune's hometown, Murdo, South Dakota. Population, 679. At least that's what the sign down there says. There's one blinking light, a handful of stop signs. His mom and dad still live in his boyhood home just a block away. Now, growing up, Thune was quarterback of the football team, a star of the basketball team. There's a sign in the gym here that still shows he holds the record for the 800 in track. In 2004, when he beat then Senate Minority Leader Tom Daschle, he was dubbed a giant killer, a real political star, not only in the state, but in the Republican Party. In fact, the National Journal even put him on the cover with another up-and-comer in the Democratic Party, who now happens to be the current president. Thune quickly rose through the Republican ranks, and at home he became so popular, Democrats didn't even field a candidate to run against him this year. Where are you on a possible 2012 run? I'm giving it some consideration. I think that uh, when you get encouragement, when your aspirations in public life are really to make a difference and to put your gifts and abilities to their highest and best use uh, in service, you know, obviously you look at opportunities to do that. So it's a, it's a very daunting thing to, to think about. What's the most daunting aspect of it? You know, the amount of money that you have to raise in, the, in modern politics, and especially for an office like that, and particularly for someone like myself who comes from a small state that doesn't have personal wealth and, and doesn't have a, a, a big network out there, so to speak. If you run, would you see yourself as an establishment candidate? <laughs> the, the word establishment is not a good word. Uh, I, I am a Reagan-esque conservative, um, right-of-center Republican who believes that uh, in a limited role for the federal government, I believe that you achieve peace through strength, that uh, we ought to promote more freedom in this country, uh, coupled with individual responsibility. I'm a pro-growth, uh, pro-jobs conservative. Mark McKinnon, a uh, media strategist for a number of campaigns, including John McCain's, said of you, he is charming, congenial, polite, statesmanlike. His problem may be that he's too darn nice for presidential <laughs> politics. We are standing, or sitting rather, on a basketball court. Can you throw elbows? Well, you have to. And in the modern political world, it's a, I, I describe it as a full contact sport. You have to be willing to get in there and mix it up. But I've been through a couple of bare knuckle campaigns. What do you think is the most pressing foreign policy issue? I think the Iranian nuclear program is a huge threat, uh, certainly an existential threat to the Middle East, to countries uh, like our great ally Israel and also to the United States. As much as I look at the external threats that America faces, and there are many, uh, probably the biggest threat, at least to me, in the near term, is these, this massive debt that we have. You voted for TARP. 
Do you regret that vote? I regret how it was used. Um, the, the TARP program has been misused, it's been abused, it morphed into something completely different than what I think was what's promised uh, when it was being considered and debated. And I, I don't think anybody had any idea that it was going to be lead to ownership of car companies and insurance companies and banks and that you were going to have this sort of serial intervention into the private economy. And so I have probably been the fiercest advocate of, of ending TARP. His critics point to Thune's time as a lobbyist in between his service in the House and the Senate. Then once elected senator, he worked on some legislation benefiting his previous employers. The work I was doing while I was out of office uh, was on behalf of South Dakota companies trying to create South Dakota jobs. You know, those are things that I worked on both inside and outside of government. Thune cuts a strong media image. He comes across well on TV, and that matters in modern politics. He's unknown from the Midwest, and he would have to spend almost full-time campaigning and raising money. But around the country, do you think many people know who Senator John Thune is? Of course not. Uh, <laughs> But once you get into a campaign like this and candidates get out there and get themselves introduced to voters, particularly in those early states, uh, you know, that's something that, uh, that I think can be overcome. Rooster! So you think, uh, I think Senator Thune can go the distance? Oh, yeah, he can go the distance. I mean, we've known John ever since he's a kid. He's a, a real good conservative Christian. He's just a good person. By all accounts, from his colleagues in the Senate to his hunting buddies back home, John Thune is setting his sights on 2012. I may work in Washington, but I'm certainly not a creature of Washington. Please join us Friday night for our look at Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal.